I am Professor Hans Rosling. I am participating in the fight against Ebola here in Liberia. In these countries, the number of new cases per day have come down from almost 100 in the end of September to now, in the beginning of December, around 10 per day. But that's still very dangerous because the only safe and stable level for Ebola is zero cases per day. So we say Ebola must go all the way down to zero. We must stop transmission among humans. But that's difficult now at the low level because Ebola is hiding in between the other infectious diseases. So we have to be like detectives and hunting the virus. And we do that using a method called contact tracing. I'll show you how it works. Imagine that this is a patient that is very sick with Ebola. It's a contagious disease and everyone that has been in contact with this patient may be infected. So what we need to do are two things. We need to take the patient to an Ebola treatment center and isolate them. And then we have to list all the contacts. We have to make a list with everyone that was in contact with this patient during the days they were sick. And then we start what we call contact tracing. In the next 21 days, 21 days, we follow all these persons. And we have to follow them every day, check the temperature, ask them how they feel. And if one of them is infected, let's say that this one is infected and this one is infected, we don't know. There's no test we can use. So we just have to follow them. Now, those who are not infected, we follow them for 21 days, we find nothing. We follow this one, we find nothing. Same here, same here. But this one, that has the virus in the body, after 10, 15 days, they get fever, they get headache, they get diarrhea, and then, very fast, we isolate them. So when they develop full-blown Ebola here, they are very contagious, they are already in the treatment center and they are isolated. Now, this one here may not have confidence in our system. They are scared and they decide, no, I get a little fever today, hope it's malaria, and they move away somewhere else. They avoid our contact tracers. That's very dangerous because then they would get Ebola outside our control and they may infect other persons. And we may also have missed one person down here. Let's say this was a brother to the case and he took a bicycle and went to, to relatives to live there. And if he was infected, you know, we won't know it. He will develop Ebola here and infect others. So we need a perfect uh, contact tracing system. And perfect means that everyone has to be listed so that when they develop the disease, we can isolate them immediately. And those who are scared and doesn't trust that it's the best to wait for the contact tracer, we have to convince them they have to be very kind so that they would like to be included in our system and we can isolate them like that. Now the challenge today in Liberia is that we have 6,000 contacts we are following. And they live throughout the country, most of them here in Monrovia. And it's far from a perfect system. We have a leakage of patients who are not in the system, like this one, and those who we lose during the control. But we are getting better and better, and we need more resources. Today we don't need more Ebola treatment units. We need more international support for this contact tracing. And we need people who come and stay for several months. Then we can find all these uh, contacts and we can follow them perfectly. So somewhere, somewhere in next year, when we have made this better and better and better, then we may end Ebola transmission completely. And then it also has to be done in the neighboring countries. That is possible, but it requires lots of resources and lots of endurance that we don't give up because we have only one objective. Ebola must go go all the way down to zero.